making this video on the fly uh, without any notes or preparation. Um, but I want to share a few uh, thoughts that I have this week about everything that I've seen on uh, mainstream media and um, to kind of help uh, help at least for myself to refocus, if not a few of you as well. Um, did, I, I know that a lot of you probably saw that, uh, that article and uh, I mean many articles and media going crazy over Donald Trump having a steak dinner with his family uh, yesterday and how they distorted the whole story and blew it out of proportion like uh, Trump snuck out of his hotel or Trump Hotel Trump Tower um, without security or anything like that and how can he risk his his um, his life uh, and you know he doesn't he doesn't understand the responsibility of his uh, of his position now and stuff like this it's just really crazy um, first of all uh, I know you know, and this is for people who don't know the story or don't know really what's going on, but he had a team of Secret Service with him. In fact, they are assigned to him now for the rest of his life. That's how it goes for a, an, an elected president. Even after they're out of office, they have secret security with them for the rest of their life. So um, that's just going to be the new normal for Donald Trump. And um, it's been that way for everyone else. Barack Obama will have Secret Service for the rest of his life as well. So, but the media, like uh, uh, in NBC, CNN, it was ridiculous what I saw yesterday. And I posted one of Mark Dice's videos uh, about it. So a lot of you have seen that. But um, uh, what I want to what I want to tell you is um, this is this is something that's just running through my mind. Um, it, it's about the millennials and about the new generation that's out there, people that are younger than me. Um, that are like 20 years old in their teen, teens and maybe even early 30s. Um, early 30s, I don't think they get a free pass, but like maybe early 20s, uh, they can still be influenced and especially in their teens, they can be influenced. Um, I know that, you know, it's really easy to call them idiots and stuff like that when they're leaning far left and stuff. And, uh, you know, after some reflection on it, you know, and I mean, we, we all get emotional about things, um, especially when we're in a fight, you know, we're in a fight for the soul of this country. Um, we tend to call people names and stuff like that, you know, and for, for the millennials, I don't really want to label them idiots because um, even if they're leaning far left, let me explain why. You know, when we were growing up, we looked up to our parents for leadership and guidance and wisdom. And a lot of these kids today don't have that. You know, they have, they, they've, they've been raised in broken relationships and, and um, maybe in families, maybe in some families where they just, they have bad influences and misdirection. And they're looking for someone, someone or something to, fill the gap of, of leadership. Everybody, every person has that at some point in their life. They, they need leadership, they need guidance. And unfortunately, they're getting it in the wrong areas, like mainstream media and Hollywood. So with that said, this is the problem that we're dealing with. They're, they're being influenced by bad people, okay? And what those of us that have a little bit of common sense need to do is to I, I believe is get, you know, get the word out and make your opinions heard as much as you're able to do it with the time and resources that you have. Um, I'm an advertiser by trade now. I've been doing it for like 15 years. So it's very easy for me to, uh, to put a little bit of time in on this. And um, what I'm going to do hopefully is I will um, invite people from Facebook and Twitter and maybe even some politicians, like I do, I do have some contacts for some politicians and um, evangelical um, Christians that are in leadership positions to um, have a little sit down interview and a little talk. Um, I'm probably gonna be creating a Facebook fan page for this. So keep up, uh, keep, keep up with what I'm doing if you can and every once in a while. And um, I've definitely enjoyed following a lot of you as well. I've made some great friends out there. And uh, we're all in it together. And uh, I just want to thank you guys for um, 
getting out there and voting especially. And But the war is far from over. The war is far from over. Our focus should be on mainstream media. Our focus should be on, on Hollywood um, celebrities who are advocating um, a lot of hatred and rhetoric and racism, by the way. Um, it's an old communist uh, playbook where um, people will accuse their opponent or their enemy of what they themselves are doing. And honestly, when you see the violence in the streets and stuff like that, and uh, they're trying to tell us hardworking Americans that we're evil, you know, and we're really not. We want to live in peace. But uh, anyway, it is a battle for the mind, just like they say on InfoWars. So uh, I want to do my part, and um, I'm not doing this for wealth or gain. Um, but I just want to thank everyone for following me on Facebook, and uh, let me know what your thoughts are below. I'm going to post this on Facebook, and um, hopefully I'll have some really cool stuff to lay out soon. So it's good to see you all. Take care.